Today is Saturday the 27th of January, Holocaust Memorial Day. Between 1941 and 1945, the Nazis attempted to annihilate all of Europe's Jews. This systematic and planned attempt to murder European Jews is known as the Holocaust, the Shah in Hebrew. From the time they assumed power in 1933, the Nazis used propaganda, persecution and legislation to deny human and civil rights to Jews. They used centuries of anti-Semitism as their foundation and by the end of the Holocaust, six million Jewish men, women and children had perished in ghettos, mass shootings and in concentration camps.
Okay, so because it is Holocaust Memorial Day, I have got a couple of books here that are Holocaust related, okay? And I wanna show you them. Now, one is from the library and one I own, and one is fact and one is fiction. So I'm gonna show you the book I got from the library first. And this is called The Life of Anne Frank. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be an emotional read. I know I'm just gonna like cry so much, but I think it's gonna be fascinating and interesting. So yeah, I got this from the library. I love the photos of her. She's like such a beautiful, sweet little girl. Look at those photos. Absolutely adorable. Um, I'm getting emotional now. Um, so I'm gonna read the back of the book to you, okay? So it says, this is what Anne Frank confided in her diary on the 5th of April 1944. Will I ever be able to write something great? Will I ever become a journalist or writer? I hope so. Oh, I hope so very much. Because writing allows me to record everything, all my thoughts, ideals and fantasies. Her dreams were realised, but she herself was never to know that. Anne died in March 1945 in Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. She was 15 years old. This book tells the story of her life and it answers the many questions that people ask. Where did Anne Frank come from? Why did she have to go into hiding? Um, what did she write in her diary? How was she betrayed? And what happened to her after she was arrested? And how did her diary survive? This beautiful book contains many previously unpublished photos of Anne, her family and her friends. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult to read, but very important i think it's so it's so lovely that you know these things like especially the photos and stuff there's so many like photos of like the actual diary and of her and her family i mean look this is um Anne's small room you can see like the little teddy bear sitting on the chair there and you've got the little lamp and her bed and all the pictures on the wall it's just amazing that they've got all these you know documentations and photos and stuff like that um, lots and lots of photos inside which I, I love looking for old photos and stuff so you know this is just really touching like it really even just looking at the picture seriously I'm getting like proper emotional I mean look at that just absolutely like just touching um, so yeah that is my book from the library that I've got to read and um, this is my fiction book. I got this a little while ago, so I've saved this for this kind of time because I know um, Holocaust Memorial Day was coming up. So uh, this is The Red Ribbon by Lucy Adlington. Every dress she makes could m mean the difference between life and death. So it's a beautiful looking book. Look at that. Such a beautiful, beautiful cover. And uh, it says, four of us, Rose, Ella, Marta and Carla. In another life, we might all have been friends together, but this was a Birchwood. Um, 14 year old 14 year old Ella begins her first day working at Birchwood she steps into a world of silks and seams buttons lace and ribbons Ella is a dressmaker but this is no ordinary sewing workshop hers are no ordinary clients every dress she makes could mean the difference between life and death this room this place this world is all about survival so yeah it's i know it's fiction but obviously it's based on on true events and things that have happened and you know even though these characters are made up there were girls like this and the situations that they went through were real and it's yeah it's going to be heartbreaking to read but i yeah i think it's going to be really really good so yeah um so they are my two books that i've got for holocaust memorial day hopefully I was going to say I hope you've enjoyed this video. We can't really enjoy a video like this. It's not exactly like a happy video. But I hope you've enjoyed aspects of it in the way that you've enjoyed seeing, you know, the different books that I've got and also um, me going around like the whole kind of library thing where they had the exhibition of the Holocaust. That was very touching to go to. Um, you know, I was all on my own and I'm not going to lie, when I come out of there, I just, I had a little cry because it was just so touching and so upsetting and um you know the photographs and the artwork it it was just yeah it really it really got me actually it really upset me and made me think and yeah so i'm i'm pleased i went because i think it's important and you know obviously it's important to you know look back at history and, and the horrible horrible things that happened but 
you know, it just really got me, it really upset me. So I'm like, oh, should I have gone? Should I not? I don't know. But I, I went and, um, yeah, I documented it, obviously, on the video. So, yeah, um, I am going to light a candle tonight for uh, Memorial. There's a special candle that you get. I'm going to light that tonight and think of all of the people who lost their lives and their families and, and just, you know, say my own kind of private prayer thing and, and just, you know, sit and think about them and hopefully you know people will kind of raise more awareness for this i think people need to know like people everywhere need to know what happened because you know over the years like you know people forget people don't talk about it it just kind of goes out of their mind but they need to keep knowing what happened they need to keep knowing about history and um you'll see in this video the picture of me holding up the sign that says hashtag we remember um, because you, we need to remember these people you know we need to honor them and remember them and talk about them and uh, yeah if you want to get involved with the we remember thing um, I'll put a link down below you just literally all you do is um, hold up a sign and it's for HMD let me check that out hold on I'll put it on my paper yeah HMD um, I'll put the link down below it's a charity that they do for the Holocaust uh, Memorial Day and um, yeah you literally just hold up the sign saying hashtag we remember and put your photo on any kind of social media so Twitter Instagram Facebook whatever and it just kind of raises awareness for the Holocaust Memorial Day so yeah um, feel feel quite emotional actually like just even thinking about it or it's just so awful and I am Jewish and I mean you can still be upset about it if you're not Jewish I'm not going to say like you know only the Jews get upset because that's not true and also it wasn't just Jewish people who were killed you know um lots of different people for different reasons were killed as well so obviously lots of love and and memorial to them as well um they're not to be forgotten about you know either so um we we remember is not just for Jews who died, it's for everybody who suffered and died in the Holocaust. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, but um, hope you are okay. Thank you for watching my video, and please subscribe to my channel. That would be great. And follow me on social media as well. So, Twitter is at MinxLaura123, Instagram is MinxLaura123, and Facebook is Minx.Laura.5. Okay, so thank you very much. Take care of yourselves and goodbye. Bye.